This photograph reminds me of Kodachrome colors we have come to know and love. However, the Garden of the Gods features are slightly soft focused. Please look closely at the layers and enlarge sufficient in processing and photoshopping so that you can eliminate the white edging. Keep making photographs of these beautiful landscapes. Very well done on all levels. Congratulations. The color balance is precise, as is the composition. This is an exhibition quality print. Regarding the matting, please remember to use archival acid-free board if at all possible. I did not take the mat off to verify, but I think this is acid-bearing board. The clouds and the detritus in the water play off each other quite well. This is a photograph of an intense nautical face. Eyes, bow, and the photographer was clearly demonstrating the compositional intent in the framing. The sharpening is a slight bit too crisp, creating a harshness in the overall pixel quality. Still a fun photograph and worthy of exhibition. The colors are properly balanced and the composition is quite effectively focused on the sailing vessel in the foreground. This is the kind of photograph that vendors might successfully sell along the canals in Copenhagen. My only suggestion is to perhaps give just a slight bit more room at either end of the vessel as it's ever so slightly cramped to the edges. But really, overall, a very accomplished print. Muir Woods is a beautiful location, especially when the light cascades through the trees, as in this photograph. The people walking in the woods are featured somewhat, especially given the red clothing of the woman. Preferably, it's often more accessible to a viewing audience to photograph people walking if they are walking towards the view as opposed to away from the vantage point. The sharpening is slightly too crisp and the atmosphere would be enhanced by exploring how to maximize the middle values. Still, the photograph is well framed and composed, leading the viewer into the scene, all the while accentuating the redwood trees. This is very well done and engaging visually. The color balance is certainly within acceptable boundaries, sometimes a challenge with casino-esque compositions. This could be a publicity photograph or one that the casino itself might appreciate having in its collection. Well done. While always a pleasure photographing animals in the wild, it's a challenge and takes quite a bit of experience and training, not to mention all the gear that's required. What I look for in highly accomplished photographic prints is detail printed in the highlights and clarity of focus. This, mo this photograph is missing some of the detail in the whiteness of the deer's coat and the deer itself is slightly out of focus. Keep on photographing and good luck. a very pleasant romantic view of fishing nostalgia. Please consider composing so that the boat itself is not cropped so tightly to the edges and the color of the white paint is slightly cyan, easily fixed through Photoshop. The sharpening is a slight bit crisp but overall a good representation of the nautical landscape. The geisha is slightly out of focus, but an interesting photograph for the costuming and overall view. The color has a warm overall tone, which we would define as a color cast. There are ways in Photoshop to separate the main figure from the background to create a greater sense of depth, something to consider. 
For what it's worth, I advise no longer using hard mounting tissue as it's hard on the surface of the photograph. By the way, the post to the left is slightly distracting. This is a fun photograph. However, please think about the overriding colored mat as it, it, as it is, as intended, consistent in color scheme, but it tends to dramatically become part of the overall image rather than allowing the photograph itself to shine. The sharpening is a bit harsh, something to consider next time. Perhaps show the base of the tree as well.